Hello everybody. In this video, I deal with the visibility parameter of dynamic blocks. I strongly recommend you to go through my videos on blocks as well as the concept and application of dynamic blocks before exploring this video. Please click on the respective links provided in the upper right corner of this video to get a complete understanding of the concept of blocks as well as dynamic blocks. Now let's see the visibility parameter. This particular block reference is a dynamic block and when you just click on this reference, you will get a visibility grip over here. When you just click on this grip, it will give you options like sofa top, which is the current view of the sofa. Sofa front, when you just click on that, you will get the front view of the sofa. And when you click on the sofa side, you can see the side view. This clearly indicates that in a single block, we have integrated three different blocks. And when you create such a block, you can save a lot of time and effort because we don't have to individually create and insert these blocks. So let's see the procedure to make such a dynamic block. In this drawing, I have created three different views of the single seater sofa using polylines and arcs. You can download this drawing file from the video description section below this video. Now I'm going to create individual blocks of these views. I'll go to insert tab and I'll click on create block. Then I'll give a block name. I'll give top since it being a top view and I'll choose this midpoint as the insertion point and I'll select all these objects and I'll choose delete option just give OK. So that particular block is created. Then I'll create another block with the name front. And I'll choose this midpoint as the insertion point and I'll select all these objects. And I'll give OK. So that is a front view which is blocked. Similarly, I'll also block the side view and I'll call it a side. I'll choose this as the insertion point and I'll select all those objects. OK. Next, I'll go to the block editor. So click on the block editor. The block editor can not only be used to edit an existing block, but it can also be used to create a new block. So I'll click on a new block name. I'll call it as sofa underscore single. Since it being a single seater sofa, and I'll give OK. Now this is a block editor interface and I'll go to insert tab, then click on insert and I'll insert the top view first. I'll define the insertion point as the origin point. So I'll give 0, 0. Similarly, you can insert uh, the front view and insertion point is again the origin. Again, insert the side view with the same insertion point. Now we have got the three views inserted one on the top of the other. Next, I'll click on the parameter tab and I'll choose a visibility parameter and I'll click at this location to create the visibility grip. Now you have an exclamation mark because you have to specify certain parameters. Now you can go to the block editor interface and here you can see the visibility states button. So click on this button and the default visibility state is given as visibility state zero. Now I'm going to create three new states. So click on new button and I'll give sofa top as my first visibility state. Similarly, I'll create sofa front and sofa side. So I've defined three states. Now I'll delete the default visibility. Click on delete button. Okay. Now you have to activate any desired visibility state as a current state. Now I'll activate the sofa top as a current state. Here you have make visible and make invisible button. That means in the sofa top state, you can define which all objects are to be made invisible. So click on the make invisible button and you can make invisible the sofa side. Again, click on the make invisible button and sofa front can be made invisible. In the sofa top state, only the top view is made visible. Now you can define the sofa front visibility state. Now make invisible at the side as well as the top. Okay. So in this condition, if you want to see a little preview of those objects which are made invisible, you can just click on this button. That is visibility mode button. Now you can see a little preview of those objects which are made invisible. 
And if you want, you can make them visible by clicking on it. But presently, we don't need it because in the software front state, only the front view need to be made visible. Now this visibility mode I'll turn off. I'll define the next state which is sofa side. Now make invisible the sofa front view as well as the top view. Okay. Now we have defined all the states. Before you close the block editor, you can just activate the default state. So I want the default state to be sofa top. Okay. Now you can just close the block editor. Now the software will ask you whether you want to save the changes. Yes, I want to save these changes to the sofa single block definition. Just click on that. Next, we will insert it. So click on insert and you can see the sofa single block here. Click on the sofa single block. Just insert it in a desired location. Just click on this reference. You will see a visibility grip. Just click on that. You can see all the states which you have defined in the block editor. I'll click on sofa front that is made visible and sofa side the side view is made visible. Okay, now I'll go back to the sofa top view. This is how you make a dynamic block with visibility parameter. In fact, this concept can be applied in a variety of ways. For example, let's go to the tools palette by pressing Ctrl 3. Here you can see a number of dynamic blocks. I'll take for example the car symbol. So you can just drag drop the car symbol and when you zoom out you can see it and when you just click on this car you will see a visibility grip over here when you click on this you can access different types of cars you will get sedans different types of sedan different views can also be obtained so you can combine different views as well as types in this similarly when you take a tree from here so this is a tree and just click on it you will get a visibility grip click on that you will get various views first. It can be a palm tree elevation or palm tree plan. Okay. You can also access different types of trees from it. Like you can have a shrub and you can have a evergreen elevation. So likewise, you can group different types as well as views in it. I hope by now you are convinced about the productivity and the advantages that you get using dynamic blocks with visibility parameters applied. So be productive with this concept and don't forget to hit on the like button of this video if you liked it. I wish you the very best and thanks for your time.